Earth, a planet with 510 million square kilometers of large surface, where peatlands cover 3% of the blue planet area in 175 countries. For the past three centuries, world population take advantages of using peatlands for fuel and agriculture. This caused 10 to 20% of the global peatlands to have disappeared. In the humid tropics such as the Southeast Asia, regional environmental and topographic conditions enable peat to form under conditions of high precipitation and high temperature. Here, peat soil has a high carbon content and can burn under low moisture conditions. Dry season makes it prone to wildfires. With this type of event occurring naturally, Southeast Asia countries with large tropical peatlands such as Indonesia and Malaysia issued peatland management and protection policies. Indonesia has established a dedicated agency for peatland management, Badan Restorasi Gambut or the Peatland Restoration Agency, who is working to restore degraded peatlands in seven provinces. Malaysia has a national action plan for peatlands management sustainably since 2011. In the Northern Hemisphere, temperate peatland has crucial use for energy. About 2 million European citizens enjoy the warmth during winter through heating machines driven by energy from peat. While tropical peatland is a planting medium to increase population living standards and eradicate poverty. In Indonesia and Malaysia, which together produce around 85% of the world's palm oil, more than 3 million smallholders generate income from oil palm. This crop is planted on suitable peatlands, but takes less than 15% of all oil palm plantations in both countries. If we talk about peatland in these two palm oil producing countries, it will be insuperable from improving the degraded peatland. Here's why. As a common phenomenon that occurs all over the world, Indonesia and Malaysia experience the conversion of forest land into non-forest land. The loss of natural vegetation around the peatlands caused disruption on overall ecosystem and hydrology of the landscape. Here, where the degraded peatlands are flammable and in shallow peat, the growing of crop like oil palm has been an ecological and productive choice. Like plants, oil palm tree absorbs carbon dioxide. Utilization of degraded peatlands with proper technical culture and water level management for oil palm plantations has been proven to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Obviously, the oil palm plantations are improving the degraded peatlands, resulting in less GHG emissions.